Sindhutai Sapkal, her uh, husband, when he returned to her when she was doing well and uh, serving so many other people, he want, he was like, can you accept me, you know, again? And she's like, of course I can accept you, but not as my husband, as my son, you know, and I'll be your mother. And uh, with such ease, she just took it, you know, after going through so much of uh, hardships and that person was, you know, he kicked her out and she just for forgave him. You know, this shows that a woman can forgive so much and with such ease she did it. So, this, this compassion is like, uh, you can't, uh, you know, no one else can do it. That's how God has made us. And I feel... Yes, yes. So, uh, yes, so this was the thing, uh, one example I wanted to give you all. One more thing I want to say about is, um, you know, um, I feel when uh, Draupadi's example I wanted to all to uh, get is when you know her kids were killed and uh, she was asked, her husbands came to her and asked that you know whether you like you know we'll go and take revenge and she was like she being a mother she didn't want uh, someone else to feel the same um, you know, sadness or, you know, what a mother can feel and she just, out of compassion, just forgave, just forgave uh, the person who just killed her five children and that's, that's the example I wanted to you all to have, that a woman puts someone else's needs before her needs, you know, and uh, she not just does it that time but since her birth, you know, when she's raised with parents, such loving parents, she cares about them, she uh, loves them so much, she gives them so much of love, affection and once, you know, she's 25, 26, 21 to 30, she's going to a different family, you know, she has to change her entire lifestyle, adjust, uh, her parents, she gets a new identity, you know, which is her husband's and Still, you know, her family's changed, she accepts them, she keeps them before her, you know, her needs and I can't even imagine how, what change she goes through when it's marriage, you know, what change she has to go through because um, having new parents and not forgetting them also, she has a responsibility to her birth parents also and her new parents also, so what she goes through is commendable. One more example I wanted to give you all about courage is um, Hirkani. She was, um, you know, she was in a in Raigad. You know, the gates were closed uh, of the Gad, and her child was crying when uh, in, the child was away from her. The gates were closed. She couldn't get out of the Gad, and what that woman did is just for her child is alone like in the house she just uh, came down a very steep narrow you know a route from the guard you know she just took and made some um, arrangements and she just came down in not thinking about her uh, life and you know she just came and just to serve her child she didn't think of anything else, not herself. So that's what I want to tell you all, that a woman is made in such a way, it's such a big privilege that we are a woman born as a girl child. And uh, we just give, give, give. We don't, you know, ask anything in return. It's just love and respect we ask for, nothing else. And we can surrender till our last breath. You know, we can keep thinking about everyone else's needs before us. That's how a mother, that's how a woman is, you know. Um, I want to talk about courage. One more point I want to say is um, courage and love, you can say, is about Kunti Maharani. 
you know she has gone through so much of hardships in her life not just after marriage before marriage also she had to give up her son just for the uh, father's name reputation respect you know she thought about her father before her marriage and after her marriage about her husband you know she was a princess and she had to go to one with uh, uh, you know her husband and she did it with such ease you know for her husband for her love that's how chaste she was to her husband you know and uh, that's the very beautiful example i wanted to give you all that not just with her husband with her children also she had to face so much of uh, hindrances and difficulties in life and she did it one more thing i want to say about her is that she asked for troubles in her life just to get close to the lord just to get close to krishna you know she used to pray to the lord that please lord give me difficulties and give me problems so that i can remember you in hard times and you know i can get close to you you're always in my um, mind on my mind and you're always i'm always krishna conscious when i am in troubles i remember you then you know all these examples they are divine souls we can't like gurudev says we can't um, imitate them but we can just learn from these stories these are not stories these are stories which are meant to get a lesson from you know so i ca- i can't even imagine like anyone in this room we can just pray to the lord have you all ever prayed to the lord please give me problems please i want problems so that i can just remember you we can't like we can't think like we always our soul is only sachitanand we want happiness right we always look towards happiness and when we are in a sad zone we just remember the lord that's why in this material world why there are so much of difficulties and problems of course there are happy times as well but difficulties as in the lord is always remembering you but you forget to remember the lord that's why he has to just give you a knock and then you all just like keep going to him keep going to him right so that's the divine soul how what kunti maharani was and we can't even think of doing that but we can learn from that we can always remember the lord try remembering him even in happy times you know little little things oh okay today this happened we go and uh, go to our parents and tell them we go to our friends and tell them we go to our hu- like husbands uh, instead of that just remembering him first and just letting him know and then going to our relatives and you know doing this so little little things little little gestures we can do to the lord he's present he's there we just keep forgetting that because you you know you he you just don't understand that his physical appearance is there and like the deities are non different from the lord you know you just don't understand that but uh if we do small gestures he can reveal himself to us and very soon we can go back to godhead where our true uh, home is so yeah this example i wanted to share with you all uh then uh one i want to talk about chastity you know i feel uh, a woman is physically weak than a man you know man has a lot of strength we all agree and fine uh, a woman is mentally strong but you know compared to the man we are mentally more strong in uh all terms that's how prakriti is created like uh, purush and prakrit that's how lord has made us if they have the strength physical strength we have the mental strength so i feel what gives us that mental strength is our purity and our chastity you know the the purity we have the chastity we have in this kaliyug we have forgotten that uh you know how to be chased to a prabhu before marriage also and uh, think just about someone since that's how we're made like we should just be like chased to one person but uh, i want to give you all the example of how uh, rukmini devi you know she was chased to the lord lord krishna and 
before marriage it's such a beautiful story that she had l- heard about lord krishna since her young age and just imagined him as her husband and la- wrote letters and wanted to marry him and then the lord reciprocated you know and uh, beautiful story of rukmini viva uh, but i wanted to tell you all how chaste she was even before marriage you know uh, just thinking about someone and i feel if someone if you just surrender to one prabhu you will not even think of someone else in your mind that's how a woman is made and that's how she's there like till her last breath she won't even think of someone else and she won't even marry someone else i feel so yeah that about rukmini i wanted to say that it was such a beautiful thing which she did that uh just by listening to someone's stories i mean of course the lord is all beautiful and just by listening to that she was chased to the lord you know and one more example i wanted to say about sita ma how chased she was uh, with ram ji after marriage also with such difficulty she just went uh, you know to with him and she was a princess again and with such love and respect she was brought up with you know such love and respect she was given at her parents house after marriage she was asked not to go uh, to one vas with ram ji just because you know she was so delicate in uh, you know she's never seen hardships but you know she just went with her husband because you know marriage is not about just being with someone with good times in you know, at good times you have to go through all the ups and the downs lows and the downs you have to be with that person you know and uh, that's how she went with ram ji and that's how after um, you know ravana took her